sleeping yet. You don't chest, sleep though. in your glasses? <laughs> yeah. Just have them on your chest. How do you see? Dr. Campbell's office. Just fill that out, and have a seat, and he'll be with you shortly. Okay, thanks. So, uh, what, what are you in for? Excuse me? What's, uh, what's a nice girl like you doing here? That's a little bit of a personal question, don't you think? Sorry, I'm, I'm not too good at the whole small talk thing. It's all right. Well, maybe you could help me. What? Well, like you see, I'm, I'm continually trying to improve myself. So whenever I make a mistake or I mess up, I just try to figure out what I could have done. Um, I don't know. Uh, mention the weather, I guess. It's a nice day, that sort of thing. Oh. That's, that's pretty brilliant. You got it, Mr. Crow? I'm giving the old standard doctor's advice. Then don't do that anymore, okay? Mm. Thank you. Um, I will do my best. You nervous? No. I'm a little nervous. Thank you for your visit, Mr. Crow. Thank you. See you soon. Yes, doctor? Could you send in the next patient, please? Of course. The doctor will see you now. Hop up on the table there and uh, tell me what's been bothering you. Well, Doctor, I fear it's the nightmares again. You fear them? Well, yes, but that's not what I was saying. Oh, I'm sorry, what were you saying? I think they're acting up again. And how are they acting? They aren't acting like anything, but I fall asleep, and then next thing I know, I wake up and I'm screaming and crying. Crying and screaming. Well, that won't do. With your permission, I'd like to try something a little unorthodox here. Anything to stop them. Could you send the next patient, please? The doctor will see you now. Please, come in, have a seat. I asked you two to be here because you uh, each face a similar issue. And I thought that a little group therapy might be the best way to fix it for each of you. Now, I want you to explain your nightmares to each other. Uh, you start. 
It all starts with me alone in this spooky house. Then I hear groaning coming from the basement. I find the stairs, and even though I don't want to, I walk down into the darkness. Then the groaning gets louder, and I hear that rattling of chains. And I could tell the sound is coming from behind this old beat-up paint-peeled door. I open the door. And some hairy, slobbering, rabid, wolf-like creature leaps out from my throat. And that's when I wake up screaming. You see? You're not alone in this. And remember, there's safety in numbers. Keep that in mind tonight. And I promise you'll wake up tomorrow in a much brighter way. You got it, Mr. Crump? I'm giving you the old standard doctor's advice. Then don't do that anymore.